Snapper, what's going on? Doing a quick little question of the day today. It's a money budgeting related question. Here it is. This one probably isn't so much a question as it is just a little mini lesson on budgeting and finance and mindset. Here's the thing. One of my earliest mentors did a little thing on stage when I first saw him do this and he uh, pulled out a heap of cash out of his pocket and he clenched it really tight. And with the cash clenched in his grip here, he explained that most people do it. Most people have this idea about cash. They, whatever cash that they do have saved, they hold on to it. <laughs> they hold on with grim death that it ever fucking leaves their sight. Um, and that's a pretty effective strategy if your strategy is not to lose money. But if your end goal is to get financially independent, create cash flow, then there has to be a flow, a flow in and a flow out. It has to flow. The more that you hold on tight and tight and tight and grip it and don't let any of it leave your sight, the harder it is for more cash to come into your grip as well. You won't get more. Now, if you go too far the other way, that's not wise either. If you a big lump sum of cash and you're just throwing it away, throwing it toward the wind or making paper planes with it and seeing how far you can get it. We're rolling up $100 bills into paper planes and seeing if we can hit the rollers with it. That's absolutely ridiculous. No one who has their wits about them is doing that. The way I process it mentally is to firstly release the grip. Release the grip so it can come and go and then dance with it wisely. A little bit here, a little bit there. I'm going to be dancing wisely with it and letting it flow. There's a book that you can get that you can increase your knowledge and get some return on investment. Let it go. You spend it on the book. If there's someone trying to take it, take it away. You want to avoid the stupid things. You want to put it into the smart things, the wise things, the things that you've already predetermined that you're going to spend your money on. Have a budgeting plan for that. But if you're in the fucking pantry holding onto it, not letting a single cent leave your sight, then you're running in scarcity. And if you haven't heard me say this before, you might want to write it down. Thoughts are things. What you think about in your head, you will manifest in the real world. Specifically, the thoughts that you think in your head that actually generate a physiological response in the body that make you feel a certain way, they're the thoughts that really speed up the manifestation process. So when you go to the letterbox and you get a big stack of bills and you feel sick and you feel nauseous, how am I gonna pay for the bills? I'm poor, I gotta save, I gotta hold on my money, hold on my money, hold. By way of thinking that and feeling that, you're vibrating on scarcity, lack, fear and poverty and when you vibrate that way you get that when you can change the thoughts the way you process the spending the, the spending the spending the bills is a constant you're still going to have to spend the money but you can change the way you think about it and when you change the way you think about something you change the way you feel about something and as soon as you change the way you think and feel you're vibrating differently you can be vibrating on abundance even before you get abundance in fact, the only time I've ever seen anyone get abundance is because they've been thinking and feeling abundantly before they get the abundance. I haven't, I haven't seen it the other way around too many times. It's called mental alchemy or transmutation of thoughts and feelings. When you can change the way you think about something and process something and perceive something, you're a mental alchemist. Many people think alchemy is turning iron into gold, changing the physical matter of something. Masters know that it's a, it's a state of mind. It's changing the vibration of your mind at will. And when you can do that, when you've got control over this guy, you've got creational ability. You've got a tremendous amount of power. You can go and create whatever you want. You get the gold. So, I hope you enjoyed today's little mini lesson. There's a video on YouTube you might want to watch if this interests you. It's my how to budget like a boss. It's literally how I spend my money. I think it's a pretty good video. I, get, I recommend getting a plan. Getting a plan, getting a spendings plan. How are you going to spend your income that you make? That way it liberates you from second guessing yourself or running fear.